Good Saturday evening. Meteorologist Jordan Young with you with a final update on our winter storm that's expected to impact our area in just a few hours. So the major change in the forecast has been with the snow and sleet accumulations. We're expecting a little bit more sleet than what was originally thought just the past 24 to 48 hours and that's due to a little bit more substantial warm nose moving into the areas. So we've been forced to scale back our accumulation map. Still expecting around 6 to 12 inches across the highest elevations, but even there, there could be a little bit of a warm nose that could change this precipitation over to sleep for a time. As you move out of the mountains down into the valleys, 4 to 8 inches and right along the Blue Ridge Escarpment, 4 to 8 inches there as well. Moving down into the Catawba Valley and the foothills, three to six inches, two to four, stretching anywhere from Hickory, Rutherfordton, on over to Shelby, moving up to Statesville, Winston-Salem, those areas around two to four inches, one to two inches in Greensboro, stretching down just north of Charlotte, Rowan, Salisbury areas, about an inch to two inches of snow. And then as you move down towards the Charlotte area, you're going to be around a trace to one inch of snow and sleet. Same thing in the Raleigh area as well. This is mainly going to be a freezing rain event for these guys and that's in a way a little bit more dangerous. Not only does it make travel more dangerous, it also increases the likelihood of power outages and down trees. So please prepare now for this. The green and blue shaded areas have the potential to see trees down and power outages and even the purple shaded areas do as well just because there is still a little bit of uncertainty just how deep that warm nose layer will be and on the western side as you get towards the Hickory area and up towards Asheville and those areas if it does change over to a freezing rain a little bit more earlier than expected and changes from that sleet to freezing rain that could increase the totals there as well so do be prepared winter storm warnings are up for all of western and central North Carolina and even down east there's some winter weather advisories as there could be some travel issues early Sunday morning before that low changes everything over more towards a, uh, a cold rain event. So let's pull back here and let's take a look at the NAM computer model. This is at midnight and you can see our system here to the south and as we pull forward to around 5 o'clock you can see we're already starting to see some snow break out across western and central North Carolina. It can even start as some snow down in the Charlotte metro area but that warm layer is expected to move in relatively early and change it over from snow to sleet and then eventually freezing rain. You can see that modeled very nicely on the um, skew T maps. You can see right here around 5,000 feet where that warm layer is and as we proceed forward from 7 to 9 you can see how that warm layer just overtakes the Charlotte metro area and here's where you've got a changeover to that sleep and then as you pull forward you can see that warm nose even becoming more and more defined. Right there is the freezing line and so anything to the right side of that freezing line at this point would be either sleet or freezing rain because as we know once a snowflake melts it cannot refreeze and become a snowflake again it either becomes freezing rain or sleet. Moving forward that whole entire sleet band takes over the entire area the only exception might be some of the mountain communities do escape changing over to sleet but pretty much freezing rain and sleet are going to be the story around the lunch hour here. Travel conditions would be very, very treacherous around this time frame. Moving forward around 5 o'clock, we're starting to push everything to the north. Our low pressure is transferring to the coast, and when that happens, that helps to bring in some cooler air on the back side. So then we kind of get this upper level disturbance to come in behind it, and that would be more of a snow setup than a freezing rain or sleet setup because the atmosphere will be a whole lot colder by then. So there's a chance for some snow showers through the evening hours. And then as we move through the morning hours on Monday, there will still be some snow showers up in the mountains as the moisture wraps back around on the back side of the mountains. The main story, though, remains the snow and sleet and the freezing rain accumulations from this storm system. Pretty much, if you're south of I-85, you're really going to see some very high freezing rain accumulations. 
If you're north of 85, you will see some freezing rain accumulations and then some snow and sleet accumulations. Just not as much snow and sleet as we originally thought would be accumulating. And that can be some good news, but also some bad news at the same time because that does mean more of that freezing rain, which is a whole lot more difficult to drive in. So please be careful if you have to be out traveling tomorrow. And if you need to make plans, now is the time to do it. You've got just a little bit of time before this storm system does move in. If you're in any of the areas here shaded in the green, blue, or purple, do plan for the potential for power outages and potential for downed trees. And just as a reminder, the travel conditions will be rough, so please be careful if you must be out. I will keep you updated on my Facebook page during the event tomorrow with the latest changes kind of as they unfold because it will be a dynamic day tomorrow overall with just all the different moving facets of this. You, many people will see all three types of wintry weather tomorrow from the snow, sleet, and freezing rain. Thank you. I'm meteorologist Jordan Young.